All right, guys, uh, so in this video, we're gonna talk about uh, personal cassette players, also known as Walkmans. And uh, we're also gonna talk about um, different sizes for uh, Walkmans. And uh, hopefully this video is gonna help you um, decide what kind of walkman you want to buy like if you if you're in the market for a new uh for a walk for a used walkman but you also wanted to uh, play the cassettes of course so in that case um so this 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 uh personal cassette players uh most of them are late 90s mid 90s uh early 2000s all right and uh the actually these walkmans like uh it will be better like if you buy one you know to ask the seller if it's actually playing cassettes or if it's working you know fully working because uh these uh, cassette players they are not actually really good for uh resale you know they don't have any resale value unless you buy one and it's the one you're gonna use just for you you know because uh I think uh, repairing them and uh, getting a new belt for them is just gonna not gonna be, you know, um, profit in them. But I'm gonna show you that what type of wall man you can get if you're in the market for one. All right. So uh, some of these walkmans. All right. So let's see. Like, uh, I'm gonna show you some of the most popular uh, Walkmans, you know, late 90s, early 2000s. Like this uh, Iowa TA-164, all right? Most of these Walkmans, I need to fix them. But like I say, uh, you only fix it yourself you get the belt and everything, you fix it yourself, only if you wanna keep it, because they're not that expensive, you know? So uh, just get the one you want and uh, fix it. And uh, I'm gonna be making a couple of videos of how to actually open these Walkmans and uh, replace the belts. But uh, there are a lot of sellers out there on eBay and you can find the belts. Some of them might be even open to for you to send them the old belt and get a new one, maybe if you message them. All right, so this is a uh, this is the um, the Iowa TA one six four. This one uh, is just a regular size. It's 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 it's, it's a fairly uh, compact, you know. That's why I got I got a cassette right here just for comparison. All right. See, it's almost the size as the cassette case, but quite a bit chunky, right? And most of these cassette decks, I mean cassette uh, players, uh, they have, um, they're mostly plastic, all right? That's why that's why they are like super cheap. Even the you know the button the the buttons and everything it's just plastic, all right. Probably the only metal you're gonna find in there is just the motor and um, a couple of tiny plates or something like that. All right, so I got another another one similar like this. And the coolest thing is that. On these radios, you got a. Uh, see, th th this one's an Iowa too. It's almost like the same size. And the cool thing is that uh, they're fairly compact, and you have the radio AM, FM, and you got the cassette deck right there. See? And you can, uh, you can strap it uh, to your belt right here pretty compact all 
All right, and I have another one right here. This is a Sony. Actually, this is a bit, just a bit um, thinner than the Iowa. See? And what I like about this Walkman, this is a cool one, all right? But you can go for the um, for the auto reverse one. See how they're the similar, and even the size is the same. Just a little bit more expensive when they came out, because this this one has a auto reverse. See right there. This is the auto reverse right here. And the option for uh, auto reverse or just playing one side. This is a nice Walkman, actually. It's not too big. But if you want something a little bit more more slimmer than that, you can go for this. Iowa maybe it's got a digital radio look at that it's a bit smaller see and it uses uh, regular batteries I think it's two double A yeah And it's our reverse too. This is the Iowa TX694. This uh, must have been a little bit more expensive than this one. Okay, so the the good the, the Sony. The Sony is the w, w, WM-FX301. All right, in case you want to know. And I got this one right here. This is a Panasonic. It's kind of like the same size as the uh, the Iowa. And I actually have a video on how to replace the belt on this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna upload that uh, video for you to watch it. But uh, unfortunately, um, I used the wrong belt. I used one of my belts. I didn't buy the, the belt for this Walkman. So I use one of mine and um, uh, it's a little bit wobbly. The sound is a little bit wobbly with a uh, wow on flutter. Yeah. All right, and this is, this actually, I like this one. And I'll put, you might see pictures of these ones uh, on eBay, online. And this is a nice Walkman, guys. It uses one AA battery, I think. Yeah. And it's really, really compact. Look at that. This is the uh, Sony wm dash FX290. The radio is right here. The cassette uh, player is on the other side. This one doesn't have auto reverse, but it's a really nice Walkman. The only thing I didn't like about this one is that uh, it doesn't have a belt clip. This one, uh, when new, it came with a with a pouch, with a bag or something like that, and you strap that one to your to your belt. But uh, this is a nice slim Walkman, guys. All right, so um, so if you compare these Walkmans to let's say this one, obviously. Uh, and the black one is bigger, all right? The, the, the silver one is slimmer, newer. 
so it's got it's got its pros and cons you know like these ones radio is digital you got the cassette deck and everything but it's mainly plastic all right most of the components inside is just plastic couple this one's actually really good because it's got some metal in it right there all right but i'm talking about these ones that is all plastic and these ones like if you get this is a this is a recorder actually but if you get the walkman the quality is amazing on this one guys it's really hard it's a, built like a tank everything is quality all the all the all the all components inside are really amazing quality And that's, I think, the only difference is it, just that you, you're gonna carry something big in your in your in your waist. That's the only difference. And this one, you can actually put it in your pocket. All right. So like this one right here, same brand, Sony. I haven't fixed this one. I haven't fixed this one. I'm gonna fix it. It's almost the same size. See. But I'm pretty sure that if you open this one, if you open it up, all the components in there are top-notch quality, guys. Motor, uh, gears, parts, everything. See? And then there's your, um, your crappy Walkmans from the um, super early 80s, late, like early, early, early 80s. Like this Sanyo M dash G31. <laughs> See this thing? This is a brick right here. Look at that. See? Like this thing is huge. So there you go. Hopefully this, this video is going to help you on how to choose a Walkman. If you're barely getting into, into cassette uh, players and stuff, you can get one of these. Just remember to, uh, to get it fully working, all right? It doesn't matter if it's a little bit more expensive. Normally, these ones will go for like 15 bucks, 10 bucks, maybe 20. But uh, if you find one fully working, and if it's and if it's like 30 bucks 40 i think it's worth it just uh remember to message the uh the seller and ask them if uh if they uh were recently serviced or if it's if if, if it's been working for a, if it, if it's been fully working for a while all right just to make sure Alright, I think this is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching.